Okay, here we are at thegraph.com. Now, before we get going, go ahead and check out your crypto wallet. And you can see here on Ethereum mainnet, I have a little bit of ETH as well as some GRT. Just check that you have that before continuing on. Then you'll go up to products, subgraph studio, and you'll go up to billing. Now let's add the GRT into billing. And we're gonna be using our crypto wallet. And you can see the wallet balance I have is on Ethereum. If you have your GRT on Arbitrum, you could change it here. I have it on Ethereum. And in this billing section, we will have the 500 GRT in my wallet that will go over to the billing balance. And we're not gonna do all of it. We'll do 250 GRT today. Let's put that in there. And this will be automatically bridged. Let's allow GRT access first. There we go. I'll go down on my ledger device, sign it. And as I was saying, this GRT will be auto bridged on the back end, which goes from Ethereum to Arbitrum to take advantage of L2 scalability on Arbitrum, which is really cool. So let's add this GRT to the billing balance and we'll confirm the transaction, pay for the gas fees. And to get through this a little bit faster, I will fast forward this and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, the transaction was successful and your transaction was successful. Funds should appear in your account within the hour. That's because there's auto bridging going on in the background and we're checking out the transaction now on Etherscan. You can see that the transaction has been made and then there is a Arbitrum bridge in the transaction. That is the bridge and it's all going on in the background. It's auditable, which is amazing that you can actually have this being done on the back end. So we'll come back once this is all completed. It should take 10, 20 minutes maybe. Within the hour, it should be ready. And I'll cut here and we'll come back once it's completed and continue on. The transaction's complete. So you can see here, we've made the transaction 250 GRT is in our billing balance. As I go up here, you can see right there and you can compare it to the right with your ongoing invoice. So any invoice that is accumulating due to the queries that you are making will go there and you can compare the two. If you would like to get notifications concerning your billing balance, I would add an email here or many emails, uh, multiple emails to this location. Go ahead and type in those emails and get notifications concerning your billing balance. So that was billing on the graph using your crypto wallet. Have a good time out there in the graph ecosystem. Take care, everyone.